This weekend, IMSA is returning to another iconic North American circuit, this time located in the state of Wisconsin. The WeatherTech Championship returns to show off more exciting sports car action as the season continues to provide incredible racing. And for this event, we will also welcome back the GTP class. More on that subject later on though. So this race preview includes everything that you need to know ahead of the 2024 IMSA Sports Car Weekend at Road America. Round 8 of this season takes us to Elkhart Lake, as IMSA returns to US soil after a great event at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park across the border, which saw exciting action for almost 3 hours straight. Because the LMP2 class was the headline category, with no GTP cars present, overall victory in that event was clinched by Inter Europol by PR1 Matheson Motorsports and their number 52 car. Former Van Wall hypercar driver Tom Dillman, along with co driver Nick Buell, defended the lead in the yellow and green Orico 7 entry from the championship leading number 74 Riley in order to win the race. As the number 3 Pratt Miller Corvette won in GTD Pro and the number 27 Heart of Racing Aston Martin took the win in GTD. Heading into Road America though, it's good to say that we are welcoming back the GTP cars, as once again these magnificent LMDH prototypes will battle for overall honors during the event. It's also worth mentioning that for the first time this year, all GTP cars competing will now have participated before in the race the year prior. This is because during last year's race, Proton Competition made their GTP debut with their Porsche 963, and it's raced in every event since with their customer Porsche 963 badged as the number 59 car and now badged as the number 5 with the arrival of the Mustang sampling branding. On the subject of the entry list, for the 2024 Road America event, once again all four categories in the main championship will be featured with the only exception from the 2023 grid being the LMP3 class, which of course isn't a part of the WeatherTech Championship anymore. And with the VP Racing Sports Car Challenge not present at this event, the LMP3 cars will not be making the trip over to Elkhart Lake this year. The GTP class will see all 10 full-time entries in the race, with 12 in LMP2, 10 in GTD Pro, and finally 15 in GTD making it a total of 47 cars for the IMSA Sports Car Weekend this year. Some noticeable changes to the grid for Road America include a second Conquest Racing Ferrari in GTD Pro, badged as the number 35. Conquest Racing have raced before in the GTD Pro category during the Detroit Grand Prix. However, they have never raced with two cars in IMSA before. The second Ferrari will be piloted by Giacomo Altoye and Daniel Serra. Serra has already driven for Conquest Racing before, when the team entered their pro entry at the Detroit Grand Prix. Another 296 GT3 that will be appearing on the grid is from the team of Triarsi Competizioni. The team will be racing their 023 Ferrari GT car in the GTD class. While on the subject of GT Daytona, I want to mention a few changes for AO Racing. The team's number 77 Porsche will not have the traditional Rexy livery on it, and instead, the car will be decked in the Roxy pink dinosaur livery. There's also a change with the driver lineup. Lauren Heinrich is staying on, but Sebastian Prio is focusing on his duties with Multimatic. His replacement will be Julian Anlauer for this Road America event, the same driver who competes in the number 99 Proton Competition Porsche in the WEC. The LMP2 class continues to see the absence of the Dragon Speed No. 81 car, and also not racing at Road America is the 04 CrowdStrike APR entry, and this is because of the global outage involving the CrowdStrike company on July 19th. However, a team coming into LMP2 for this race is the P2 return for JDC Miller Motorsports, as the team will field an exciting additional entry in LMP2 badged as the number 79 car. This entry is an Orica 07, and it will compete alongside the number 85 Porsche 963 entry in GTP. The number 79 JDC Miller car will be driven by Gary Kraut and Scott Andrews.
IMSA has quite the history at Road America, and the series has been coming here even before it was reborn in 2014. The first IMSA race was through the IMSA GT Championship, which had its first race back in 1979 with Derek Bell and David Hobbs taking a BMW 320i to overall victory. Ever since then, IMSA has continued to come to Elkhart Lake, and endurance racing action still happened here even through the American Le Mans Series days. Last year's winner of the IMSA race was Porsche Penske Motorsport, as the number 7 crew of Felipe Nazar and Matt Campbell defended the lead against Meyershank Racing's Acura to take Porsche Penske to victory lane at Road America. That achievement also marked Porsche Penske's first win at Road America since 2007, when the RS Spider took the overall victory. In fact, Porsche is also the most successful manufacturer when it comes to endurance racing victories at Road America. After their win in 2023, the German constructor now has 11 overall wins, with their first dating back to 1980. As for the track itself, Road America was established on September 10th of 1955, and the circuit is located near Elkhart Lake and near the small town of Plymouth, Wisconsin. It's currently FIA Grade 2, and the current layout spans across 14 turns that make up the 4-mile track, or 6.5 kilometers. Besides IMSA, Road America also plays host to other events in the motorsport world, such as the NTT IndyCar Series, the GT World Challenge America, Moto America, and much more. Moving on to the balance of performance for this Road America event in 2024. In GTP, on the power side, the Acura ARX06 remains the most powerful car, with the BMW M Hybrid V8 given the least amount of power. However, even though BMW has the least powerful car, the M Hybrid V8 is actually the lightest when it comes to the weight, where the Cadillac V Series R is now the heaviest. In the GT Daytona classes, when it comes to weight, the Ford Mustang GT3 is still the lightest car, where the Mercedes AMG GT3 is the heaviest. The most negatively affected when it comes to the GT cars, though, is the Corvette Z06 GT3R, which is now 44 pounds heavier. Moving on to the championship standings heading out of CTMP into Road America. Obviously, the GTP standings have not changed, considering these cars were not at that event and haven't been in an IMSA round since Watkins Glen. So moving on to LMB2, the number 74 Riley entry continues to lead that championship. After its win at CTMP, the number 52 Inter Europol by PR1 Matheson Motorsports entry has now jumped into second place, with the number 18 Era Motorsports entry now in the top three. Following those entries is the number 22 United Autosports, and the number 11 TDS Racing Car has now jumped into the top five. In GTD Pro, Rexy, the number 77 AO Racing Porsche, is leading the championship, followed by the number 23 Heart of Racing Aston Martin and the number 14 Vassar Sullivan Lexus. After its win at CTMP, the number 3 Pratt Miller Corvette has jumped into the top five, with the number 1 Paul Miller Racing BMW completing this list. Finally, in GTD, it's the number 57 Windward Racing Mercedes in the lead of the championship, after a very successful run so far. The 96 Turner BMW is in second, followed by the number 32 Korkhoff Preston Motorsports Mercedes, which has jumped into the top three. The number 34 Conquest Racing Ferrari is placed in fourth, with the number 12 Vassar Sullivan Lexus now jumping into the top five after a good result at CTMP. Now besides the main WeatherTech Sports Car Championship, IMSA is also bringing three of their support series, and the racing is definitely something to check out. These three series include the Michelin Pilot Challenge, the Porsche Carrera Cup of North America, and finally the Mustang Challenge. As for the main IMSA race though, the event will have a duration of 2 hours and 40 minutes. This is the same length as last year's race. Qualifying for the event will take place on Saturday, August 3rd, with the broadcast starting around 4.15pm and going until around 5.25pm local time. By the way, Road America is in the central daylight time zone. The race itself will take place on Sunday, August 4th, with the broadcast starting at 2 o'clock p.m. and going until 5 o'clock p.m. local time. As for watching this race live in 2024, 
If you're living in the United States of America, you can watch it on the Peacock streaming service, as well as the USA Network. This is going to be an NBC broadcast. As for the rest of the world, you'll be able to watch this race on IMSA TV as well as IMSA's official YouTube channel. This is going to be an IMSA broadcast. If watching live is not possible though, don't worry because IMSA is going to be posting the full race on their official YouTube channel. I'll put a link to the channel in the description. Here on this channel, I'll also be covering the event with a race review later on. So that's the race preview for the 2024 IMSA Sports Car Weekend at Road America. There's a lot to look forward to as we prepare for this nearly three hour sports car race. Are you excited for the event? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching. For more content on endurance racing such as the WEC and IMSA, consider subscribing if you haven't already. On screen, you'll find some suggested videos to watch next. For now though, that's it for me. You'll hear from me next in the following video.